My name is Myron Kandel. I'm here with Keith Springer, the president of Springer Financial Advisors and the host of Smart Money with Keith Springer. With him is Jason Jenkins, the creator and CEO of Asset Block. Now, why do you use Asset Lock? Well, Asset Lock provides me everything that I need to be able to give to my clients. Asset Lock allows me to present a, a way for clients to invest without fear of loss, large loss, or any loss at all. And it gives you that protection. And any plan, whenever you work with somebody, it's so important that you get both aspects. Of course, the planning is very, very important. You've got to make sure that you've got everything in place. But it all starts with the proper investment program. And if it, once you have the proper investment program, which we do, Asset Lock gives us really everything that we need in order to protect the assets of our clients, which is critical. What's the biggest fear of people out there? It's losing their money. And Asset Lock uh, allows us to give them that comfort. Now, you're not even blushing, but you can prevent people from suffering a loss, can you? Well, I mean, we can monitor it, and that's exactly what Asset Lock does. So the client can determine that I don't want to lose more than 5 or 10 percent you know, based upon their asset allocation. And so again, not knowing tomorrow, it's, it's smart to have that plan today. And that's exactly what Asset Lock does, is that we understand that the market, there is some risk, but let's put uh, a boundary to it. Let's create an environment so that the client says, well, I'm down 20, but the most I ever want to been down is 10. And that's where that fear and greed come in. And I know you've seen this before, and they start making irrational decisions. So it does create, uh, I always say, an environment I personally believe to help clients succeed. And is that important to your clients? It's incredibly important. You've got to be able to succeed. I mean, the biggest fear of people, of course, is running out of money in retirement. Uh, by starting with the proper investment program, uh, naturally you can't have big losses. I typically work with people who are within five years of retirement, the retirement red zone, I like to call it, or already retired, and they cannot replace this money. So they're looking for places to invest. And there are very few things you can say uh, that are guarantees. There are, there's U.S. Treasury bonds, but with yields practically nothing. You, you don't want to put your money there. Uh, you need to put p money in places. There are other places, for instance, like fixed indexed annuities, and, they, and there are a place for those in portfolios, but it's not appropriate for everybody. This allows you, the individual, any investor, to have a portfolio, a very high-quality portfolio with exceptional returns, but with the comfort of knowing that you have a limited downside so you can never lose your shirt, you can never uh, lose sleep like you did in 2008, never ever again. And whoever wants to go through 2008, it's, you know, those days were horrible for everyone. And that's, I guess, what I do mostly for my clients is I help them sleep at night. Well, as he said, people got clobbered mm -hmm. in 08, right? Yeah. And were you in business then? Uh, no, Asset Lock, uh, well, I was as a financial advisor. And that's the neat thing about Asset Lock is, um, coming from the industry, you know, I really, I think, was blessed to ask the right questions. You know, what do clients really, what are they looking for when they hire a financial advisor? Is they want to know, what do I have, but what are you most, what are you doing to protect that? And I think often in our industry, uh, when we communicate to them, it doesn't resonate. It's not their language. You know, betas and alphas and standard deviations are like, I, I don't know what that means to me. But what I do know is what I gave you, and I'd like to know what are you doing to protect that? And that's really where Asset Lock comes in and communicates that very effectively and uh, continuously to help them succeed and achieve the goals that their advisor has put for, out for them. You know, many advisors are on the offensive side as opposed to defensive side. So you're, you're giving them the defense as well, right? Yeah, I mean, think about this. How often does an advisor sit down with their clients and say, well, let's talk about the downside as much as we're going to talk about the upside. It's usually, let me share with you how much money I'm going to make you. I mean, how much money I'm going to make you. All the time. Yeah. Here, but everybody talks about it. And I say this with, with people when I sit down. I, I say, I bet you the last person you sat with or the last several people you sat with, they're talking about how much money they made or how good that mutual fund did or how good that program did. And, and they're never talking about what does your money need to do for you? How much money, do, how much risk do you need yeah. to take? in order to achieve your objectives. And, you know, I have a phrase, uh, basically, invest for need, not for greed. And it implies simply invest the way you need to and take the least amount of risk possible to achieve that. And what Asset Lock does is it gives you that comfort, gives you that freedom, flexibility to know that, hey, I can make money in the market. I can watch it go up. I can be as aggressive as necessary. But I have that downside protection. I have that cushion. 
and, and I can sleep well at night. And really, that's what anybody who's retired is after. They want to sleep well at night. Yep. They want comfort. They want to relax and not have to worry about it. Go on vacation and know that it's taken care of. How important is communication in this process? Well, it's at the core. I mean, if you think about when a, when a client makes the decision to work with someone like Keith, they're basing that on trust, right? At some point, they go, I trust the planning, I trust everything going on. And, and for me, that has two components. It has knowledge and transparency. There has to be the continuation beyond just the initial meetings, but the transfer of that knowledge, transfer of that knowledge. And Keith does a great job at that. And, and there's that feeling of like, I know what's going on. But then to be able to verify. I mean, how often in our lives we're told like, hey, you gotta trust me on this, you gotta trust me but I can't quite verify. No, that's not a, that's not a place for, for trust. President but, Reagan said, trust, but verify. That's <laughs> right. right. And so that, it's something that's uh, you know, been around since day one as us as human beings is that we want the knowledge, but we want to be able to verify because the moment that happens on a continuous basis, now trust has been established. So asset lock, uh, identifies that, but not only does it communicate, but it does it in a very meaningful way. And I think that's what's important. Well, it, it's critical. I've been, it, Myron, I've been in this industry providing financial advice for over 31 years. And this is such a unique approach to be able to protect someone's investment without locking up their money. As I said earlier, yes, you can do it with a fixed index annuity or a fixed annuity or a variable annuity and, you know, or such. And, and there is a place for that in portfolios, but it's not right for everyone. And in my 31 years, I'll tell you, I thought I knew everything in my first five years. I was sure I knew everything in my second 10 years. You know, by the time I was in the business 20 years, I knew everything. And, you know, 31 years later, you find things like this that are very unique extremely beneficial to providing the safety and security for clients, not only for their money financially so they can achieve their objectives, but for their emotions. So you can sleep at night, feel good about it, and not worry anymore. Well, you mentioned the word emotion. Uh, a lot of investors work on emotion right. rather than on rationality. So how do you deal with that? It's, it's really uh, the story behind Asset Lock is there's, a th uh, there's a something called neurofinance and consumer behavior. And so there's been phenomenal studies that have taken place that were emotional, and that's just simply not going to go away. So it's a matter of identifying kind of strengths and weaknesses, you know, kind of where am I kind of emotionally weak and, and where can I be strong? And so Asalok says, okay, I understand that, that we're all emotional, especially when it comes to your money, so we're going to neutralize that by asking the right questions. What is the maximum downside you're willing to lose before we start to go a little haywire and before greed or fear, you know, begin to override logical decisions. So that is uh, at the core of let's ask the right questions on the front side, know what that is, going into the relationship. And create emotional, emotional discipline. Absolutely. Because the individual investor doesn't have emotional discipline. They, they react very emotionally all the time. That's why they do so much worse than the indexes. They tend to buy uh, the same types of stocks and their portfolios are loaded up and very correlated yeah. instead of being truly diversified amongst asset classes, which is what we do at the core of our investment management program. And then Asset Lock gives us that cushion and it gives them that emotional discipline and emotional it does. sanctity. Okay, it, what I'm hearing from you both is logic and discipline, right? Critical, You'll critical buy that? Investing. That's all the time we have. Thank you for joining me. It was great fun. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much.